In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find, download, georeference, and digitize scanned paper maps and corona imagery in QGIS. We are going to start with paper maps. The first stage to georeferencing maps is finding and downloading them. Several websites have maps available to download that are suitable for georeferencing and useful to us as archaeologists. This tutorial will show you two of them. In your web browser, visit the University of Texas Libraries map website. The link is in the video description. This website hosts the Perry Castaneda Library Map Collection. Thousands of scanned paper maps that are available for download. The maps are organised geographically by region and country. In the table of contents on the left, click Middle East or Africa if you're interested in North Africa. Scroll down and find the country you're interested in. Look through the larger scale maps to see if any are of interest to you. Maps especially of interest to archaeologists are frequently found in the historical maps section. Sometimes large map series will have index maps that can help you find a specific map. Otherwise, you will just have to browse through the maps until you find the one that you are interested in. To save a map, right click it and select Save Image As. Create a new folder in your GIS folder for it. Save it in this location or move it here from your downloads folder. The second website we're going to look at is the National Library of Australia Trove website. There is a link in the video description. In order to find maps that you may be interested in, type the name of your country and change all categories to images, maps and artifacts and click search. Under refine your results, tick maps Under Access, tick Online. And if there are a large number of maps, you can select the larger scale ones only under Scale. Browse your results until you find a map that you're interested in. Click View and then click the National Library of Australia. You can examine your map in greater detail using these controls. And you can download it by pressing the download button selecting the JPG format and clicking Start Download. Save your map in your GIS folder or move it there from your Downloads folder.
Sometimes there will be a whole series of maps that you're interested in. This series contains 21 1 to 50,000 maps of Jordan from the 1960s and 70s. The maps in pink are available for download. If there is a series, then you can browse the whole series at once. Click down a level and then next or previous to view the different maps. You can download the whole series of these maps by going to the top level by clicking up a level, clicking download and ticking select a range of images to download. If you only want a few you can move the slider, but if not, you just press Start Download. Save the zip file in your folder, or move it into your GIS folder. For very large series, this can produce errors, so be patient. Old Maps Online is a third useful source for maps. Have a go at browsing this website. There is a link in the video description.